What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Code Peterson tutorial with some more GB Studio. This topic comes from another request on the channel, so I appreciate people reaching out. And this one is, is there a way to keep track of your health without using an actor for our heads up display like in my earlier tutorials or without using the tile swap or tile switching feature? Here's the way that I found to get this to work. So I'll see what you think about this. Uh, if I go up here, this is from one of my earlier tutorials, kind of where I was dealing with collisions, I believe, and trying to explain the different um, principles of collision groups. And I thought it would be easy to apply it to this one here. So if I go to sprites, you'll see I changed some of my characters in here. So I do still have my original character. But I made this Hero 3, which is like a little hero with a little bar up at the top. Hero 2, where it's halfway, and Hero 1 is. Now, if you wanted to, you can make a little graphic of a number on there. Uh, or, or however you want to do this, or have little hearts up there. As you can probably tell, one of the drawbacks of doing it this way is it does kind of limit us on how many lives we can put in here because we do have a fixed amount of animation states for this. So that, that is one kind of negative thing about it. But otherwise, um, if you kind of know how many, what the maximum amount of lives and all that your character can have, you can do it this way. And also I did make mine just be one square for the animation. And I did that so that it would just be easier for me to create to show you how it works. I removed the flip right option because otherwise if if that was check marked then my hero 2 here when my character switches directions then the empty part of the of the little meter here would be facing the other way so that's why I did that okay so how do we get this to work uh this enemy here is a collision group 2 this enemy that i put on here also has a collision group 2 and basically, I have when both of those characters come into contact, when it's on hit with the player, then it deactivates itself. So yeah, that's just something I used for this demonstration. If I select scene one, then you can see on in it for this level, my variable health is set up to three. You can make yours whatever you want it to be. Mine is just a, it's a global variable. I named it as health. And then I set it to three on there. So that happens whenever this game starts. Now, if I go to on player hit and I select group two, which is my two enemies here, then this is what I have going. I have, I went to add an event and then I selected decrement health by one. So it's taking one away from health. So if my game starts with three, then it takes one away, and then I'm down to two. If I add two, it takes one away, and I'm down to one, and so forth. Underneath that, then I have some if statements. If health is equal to three, then it's going to be using my sprite sheet for hero three. If it's to two, then it is for sprite sheet hero two. And then obviously when we get down to one, it's for hero one. That's how I have that set up. So basically, you come into contact with an enemy, the enemy's destroyed. It takes a little bit of your health. And then underneath that, it adjusts the graphic accordingly. What does that look like in terms of gameplay? Go up here, and you'll see it, it destroyed that enemy, but my health meter up there is gone. And then here, the health meter is all the way gone. Now, let's say I want to pick up this coin and that coin is going to increase my health. Then I can select my coin on here and I can say on hit and with player then I will deactivate the actor. Click this, make sure that it is on self or actor 1 in this case. And if I select scene 1 and it says on player hit and if you remember, this is what we had for group two. And this is going to be similar to what we did here. So to save me some time, I can actually go over here to this drop down menu and copy script. 
and then I will select group one. And then on player group one, I will replace my script here, which it adds all of that information in there. Now, the only thing I need to change is here. It says decrement health by one. I'm going to delete that event. And then I will select this drop down box and I will insert event before. And I will find increment by one. And then click drop down and find health. Now we can push play to try this out. And here's our character. We lose some life on there. We lose some more life. We go here to our coin and then it adds that health back on there. Again, uh, probably more efficient way than using the actors and everything else, but the, the main difference is we just have to predefine all of those in the bar up here above our character, which can limit it. But if we're looking for something simple, I think this is a way that can help kind of provide an answer to that, to that question that we had. Let me know if this is helpful in the comments or if you have some ideas where you played around with this and made it a little more flexible to use. I'd love to hear those. I appreciate the ideas for these tutorials. Keep them coming. I also really appreciate y'all taking the time to watch. And I can't wait to do another one of these videos for you.